heard Novak just say he, he's still confident heading into Roland Garros. How big of a deal is this, though, heading into Paris for both of these guys? It's more of a big deal, I think, for Runa than it is for Novak. I think Novak has every reason to believe that given uh, the, the longer form of Roland Garros, best of five sets, guys, he, he'll have more time to problem solve. He'll have more time to get into the tournament as well. He's not going to be playing a top 32 player in the first couple of matches. So I think no reason, as long as he's healthy, for Novak to feel anything but he's one of the guys to beat, if not the guy to beat at Roland Garros. For Holger Runa, this, this buffs him up even more. This is a guy who's not short on confidence. This is a guy who's now beaten Novak twice in a row in big matches that Novak definitely wanted to win. Novak wasn't mailing these in, looking ahead. He, he was using Rome as his preparation to build. So Runa's got to feel like the work that he's been putting in is really paying off because uh, he made the quarterfinals last year at Roland Garros, and he was a shadow of the player that he is now. So that's how good he is, and he's definitely got the confidence, I think, he could be one of the guys to lift the trophy at Roland Garros. He, he's not afraid of it, that's for sure. And he has no scar tissue of, of, of being close to it and having it taken away from him. Someone like Sinner might have. So uh, in many ways, I like his chances a lot more than someone even like Yannick Sinner, who has more pedigree. Interesting. I mean, last year was the first time he ever played Roland Garros. He made all the way to the quarterfinals. How does this result, Andy, affect your view of both Holger Runa and Novak Djokovic heading into Paris? Well, Runa's quickly changed in the conversation to, uh, listen, this is what I believe I can do to this is what I'm actually capable of and here are the facts of my accomplishments, right? Uh, to go out there and bully Novak around the court in wet conditions, uh, not the easiest thing to do, I promise you. Uh, you know, Novak, listen, he needs to get his body right. He needs to feel like he's physically fit to go three out of five, seven times uh, in, I guess, 15 days. Uh, now, Roland Garros, he's proven he can do that time and time again. Holger Runa has proven he can do it in the shorter format of two out of three. Now, the next question becomes, how do we finish up Rome? Won't really change what I think of him as far as a contender. I think he's a contender. Uh, but can he transition that to three out of five sets? Has he learned the pacing uh, of those matches? Uh, but this this kid's got a belief system like, you know, not a lot. But, you know, when you haven't done it, maybe you lack that belief system a little bit. He's not lacking in belief. He, 